Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taster of whiskey.com and today we have a brand new distillery, bottle of a distillery here on my cask. It's from the Glasgow 1770 distillery and uh, well this distillery is not from 1770. No, it was founded in 2014 and it's the first distillery founded after 1902 in the town of Glasgow, which I think is the biggest town in Scotland, uh, even uh, bigger than Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland. The Glasgow distillery still uh, distills in special stills and they got names. Three stills, as it was uh, typical in the lowlands, called Annie, Mary and Tara. Well, this remembers me of the two acids of Heidi Klum called Hans and Franz. Yeah, weird to give their distilleries names. Well, in August 2019, two additional stills were erected called Margaret and Francis. And with those distilleries, they were able to increase the yearly production from 220,000 liters to 440,000 liters. So quite an amount of whiskey they are producing here. And they mature their whiskies typically in port, sherry and Madeira casks. So this one is something special called, fre called fresh and fruity, uh, priced at 48.90. Oh, well, for first one without an aid statement, quite a price. And it's until filtered, uncolored. So they're doing a job here. Look at the wonderful color of the whiskey. And they are matured in first fill ex bourbon cask and finished in virgin oak casks. So this should have uh, a clear bourbon character. And where do we open this bottle? Typically there's a cut in here. Phew. This is weird. So here we go. This is strong. This is on one side very very good because uh, the cork won't go off if you ship that bottle to a customer. On the other hand it's well you need some force to open it. Really, this is extreme. Friendly, but different. And how does it fix? Uh -huh. Ah. So. Here we go. First is toffee and vanilla, what I expected. This is fresh American white oak, means a lot of vanilla, lots of vanilla, lots of caramel, toffee. And a little fruitiness on top, not that intense, as it said in the title, fresh and fruity. In the moment it's toffee and vanilla. Yeah, cheers. Mm -hmm. Silky, mm. marzipan, biscuit, a little honey note. In the end, the distillery character shines through. Pineapple and a little bit peppery and licorice in the back. So I find the fresh and fruity title some what misleading. So this is a intense, massive, uh, big, bold whiskey giving a big expression. So this is far more than I expected from a lowlander from three stills. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So I would call it full and mighty, <laughs> not fresh and fruity. Full and mighty. Yeah. Very intense, very good start for the distillery. Uh, I would think that one comes really from the highlands, not from the fruity space side, but from the wider part of the highlands where the whiskey is a little bit more intense than the space side. So this is definitely not a whiskey very typical for the lowlands. No, this is a modern one giving a big expression. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. <music>